Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back guys to a very special video. We are just about to reach 700 subs. I, I can't believe this happening. <laughs> I never thought in my life I'd be reaching 700 subscribers on this channel. And uh, what a wild ride it's been. Uh, we started this channel about nine years ago. Uh, actually, I think around eight years ago, me and my friend Caleb. Uh, and we've been growing and we've been doing the channel off and on ever since, but uh, I've been wanting to get back into YouTube and do it. But uh, yeah, we're at 700 subs and that is amazing. And I just want to thank everybody here who has been supporting the channel. And we're going to do a very special video today. So over the past two videos that I just uploaded, I did part one on getting into the Gilneas, the starting zone for the Worgen. Um, and you can see that we're actually not in the ruins of Gilneas. We are actually in Gilneas itself. And the way you do that is there's a glitch you do at the Grey Main Manor. Now, the second part video, I actually went into Gilneas City and I was able to show you how to get into the Worgen starting zone and see all the NPCs and walk around there. So for part three and the se almost 700 subscribers special video, we're going to be getting out of bounds over here and we're going to be exploring the um the classic and retail version or not retail but like classic vanilla wow version of hillsbrad foothills and the alteric valley and uh also the trisfall glades and uh yeah so it's going to be a lot of fun uh silver pine forests and hillsbrad foothills and all that so i'm excited this is going to be a fun video and I hope you enjoy it. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to have to get out of bounds first. So the way you do this, we're going to jump in the water. And we're going to glide across first because we want to make as much room. And then we're going to get on our underwater mount. And we're going to start swimming. Now, this is very similar to the technique that we do in the Worgen staying as a druid video. So what we're going to do is we're going to head out north this way. And we're going to swim and swim and swim. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get to this lighthouse in the distance. And once you get to the lighthouse, you're going to go through two like sticking up rock formations and you're going to go right in between them. You can kind of see the rock formations already. So you see these two right here. So you're going to go right in the middle between these two. Then you're going to go over right this way. And what's going to happen is that you're essentially you're going to get around an invisible wall over here. Once you get around the invisible wall, you're going to be able to get over on the shore over here. And, uh, oops, we just lost our mount. There we go. Uh, you're going to be able to get on the shore and you're going to be able to go explore the out of bounds area of, um, yeah, Gilness. So it's really cool. You can see a lot of cool of, uh, vanilla wow stuff and, uh, they haven't really changed much. You can see the dollar on crater and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right through here. All right. And what's going to happen is we are going to hit an invisible wall. So you see that like stuff over there. We don't want to go too far. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn right here. And we're going to, and we're basically, you're already out of bounds right here. So you can just keep swimming. But you can see the edge of the world. The map's already glitching out. And we're going to get right over here on the shore. And once we get on the shore over here, we're going to be able to get out of bounds. And the reason we're taking our demon hunter is always the demon hunter is the best. There we go. And we, you are officially out of bounds in Gilneas. It's not that hard. Obviously, there's an invisible wall here, but you just go around the invisible wall and everything's fine. So let's go take a look. So, so far right now, we're in the classic version of Silver Pine Forest. You can go back here and see the unbroken wall of gray main which is really cool you can actually go under this wall as well if you want to go in here there's nothing you can see there's not much you see a worgen dropping down i have never seen that oh that's interesting see i'm always finding new stuff here too the only concern i have is like I don't want to go too far because uh, I don't want to get back out of bounds <laughs> and stuck. So, but that's cool. I've actually never seen a worgen spawn there, so that's actually really interesting. Well, let's go take a look up on top of the wall. 
And let's get up there for a moment. You know what? Actually, let's just keep going. Because in retail, you can fly up on top of the wall. And there's actually not much up there. Uh, I've been on top of the wall before. And you just run across. You can actually clip through these buildings here. And there's nothing up there. It's nothing that special. But you can go up there on your own time if you want to go see it. So if you actually make your way over here, uh, there are some stuff that was left over from Classic WoW. Now, normally in retail, there is a Horde, Undead, and Channer merchant guy, but you can see some leftover classic stuff that was left. So that's kind of cool. And then if you make your way this way, this is the path that you take on the right to go into the Old Brad Foothills. Now, I'll be honest with you. I have never been able to go into the foothills. I don't know what it is. I don't know why. Uh, well, here we can actually just clip out of bounds here. So what we can do is just we can just metamorphosis out. Okay, that's cool. So we're now we're really out of bounds. But if you try to go into the old Brad foothills, it won't let you get out of bounds. For whatever reason, I don't know why. I've tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. All different types of area. And it just doesn't let you. So for some reason, the whole map you can get out of, but you can't get into the old Brad foothills. They don't want you to see it. They don't want you in there. And I don't know why. And I wish I knew. <laughs> I wish I knew, but we're going to make our way this way. So we're going to head up north. And as you can tell, there's already a lot of stuff that's already still here. Oh, that was weird. What just happened? Ha! Huh. Some untextured houses, and there's a fire and some chairs here. And you can actually sit in these chairs, which is kind of fun. And we're going to make our way over this way. And you can see, actually, Dollar on Crater is here. What we need to do is, I believe, we can just jump across this. Yep, there we go. Now we're on the other side. And what's cool is you can see these lamp posts that are from uh, Vanilla Wow of Silver Pine Forest. I thought that was always kind of neat. But they're actually purple. And then here goes an old... Old texture home. From Vanilla Well. Wow. Alright, so we're going to make our way back out. And I believe you can go into this barn as well if you want to. Yep, everything's accessible. Nothing special, but it's kind of cool you can go in here. And we're going to come back outside. And we're going to keep heading up north. Now we are going to make our way into the Hillsborough foothills, but we're going to go up north here first. And I'm going to show you kind of what's up here in the uh, Silver Pine. Now, there is there is no body of water back there, as you'd guess. But there is like a Murloc village. Uh, we'll go back there a little later. But let's go check out the Hills Brad Foothills. Now, as you can tell, Dalaran Crater is here. Which is really cool. Uh, you can kind of see... It looks very similar to what is in retail now. I don't think there's much difference. It would have been interesting if they would have kept the original uh, Dalaran Crater or Dalaran City here. Oh, we don't want to get stuck. There we go. I thought that would have been cool if they would have left the original Dalaran Crater, but uh, they didn't, unfortunately. But yeah, as you can see, they do have the tunnels still in place there. And you can kind of look down the side of it. It's really neat that we're at the Dollar on Crater, outside of the original Gilneas, back in time. Just kind of cool. And all these homes you can go inside of.
it's just really amazing to me that they keep all all these textures and assets and everything in the game when you're never supposed to see them to begin with. All right, we're gonna head up this way. But it's cool you can see the old version of Hillsbrad Foothills, all the colored trees and all that. Now you got to use your metamorphosis to get over there. I'm not going to do that because um, there's not much, too much back there. There is like an extra building and you can walk back there. But what I really want to go show you is up in Alterac Valley. Uh, where you can see the textured snow and all that. So if we make our way up this way. We're going to go into the hills, Brad Foothills. And we're going to make our way into Alterac Valley. You can see the cave is here. And the music does change, which is interesting. And now what we're going to do is we're going to... There we go. Metamorphosis in. We're going to go explore... Uh, oops. We're going to go explore... Um, backside of Altark Valley here. As you can see, the music changed because it acted like we were going in the cave, but we didn't. This is really cool. You can get back here. And there goes the edge of the world. And this building is fully explorable as well. It's just kind of an eerie feeling being back here with it being so empty and nothing actually back here anymore. There's an old alliance flag. And you can come back this way. And I can show you exactly what was missing. What we didn't see over in the dollar on crater. You can actually go in there um, and you can actually make your way up that way and you can there's actually a mine over here you can get into and we'll go over there in just a minute now like i said before i have never found a way inside of the old brad foothills if you know a way to get in please let me know i have been trying and trying and trying but for some reason the game just will not let you in um, I don't know why. Just won't. If you try to fly over there right now, you glide, it will stop you with a wall. Then I can actually give you an example and show you what I'm talking about. But if you make your way this way, back by the cave over here, and you come down here, if you try to go into here, it will let you a little bit. But what happens is, there's a visible wall that stops you like right around here, and it won't let you go any further. Which really sucks. There we go. See? 
And I've tried and tried and tried to get in here, but... It does not let you... Oh, snap! Okay, we got in. Woo! Oh, just this part. Okay. Oh, no, are we stuck now? No! <laughs> oh, we were doing so good. What happened? Oh, what did I do? I'm so sad right now. I was so happy because I've never actually been in here yet. So I wonder if that's the spot. Dang it. It looks like there's like an invisible wall here. Oh, there we go. Ah, we got in. All right, let's go. Cool. So <laughs> this is awesome. Well, way to way to celebrate 700 subscribers, huh? Or almost 700 subscribers. Let's go see if the portal's still here. Oh, it is. That's cool. Can we go through it? Oh, we can't. Ah, I'm so uh, tempted to metamorphosis on the back. How much? How much time do we got? We got 40 seconds. That's cool. Okay, so I gotta remember. Alright, I'm curious to see if anything's back there. I bet you it just ends right over here. So I, I kind of want to go back there and then I kind of don't. Because <laughs> I don't want to... Uh... I don't want to mess up myself and get stuck, but I think it's worth it. If we get stuck, it's okay. We can Hearthstone out, but... That's really cool. I'm so glad that worked. Ah, it's like nothing exists back there. Interesting. I'm out of range. Ah, so you can actually see the tunnel cuts off here. So can we go back? Oh no. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, that's cool though. I'm glad that worked out. I was trying so hard to get back here. So there's so there's a wall right here that you can't get up. Ah, okay. So it just comes over right here. You can jump over this way, I'm assuming. Yep, okay. So that's where you want to get in. And that's how to get into here. But my other question is... There has to be a way... I wish you could see the walls, you know? That would make this so much easier. Dang it, man. Oh, well, that's really cool, though. I'm glad I was able to get in there. That's really neat. So if you can get in there, there has to be another way. So that does let you in. Okay. But I wonder... Okay, so that works, obviously. But remember, we got in there, so I wonder if we can jump in there. Oh, no way. We got in. Yes! No! <laughs> we are so close. I'm so sad. Gosh dang it. We were doing so good.
All right, so I'm curious though, since we're already this far. Oh, here we go. It's gonna make us let us go down. Ah, if I can get down here, I'm gonna be so happy. I've been trying so hard for so long. The good thing is we're not actually stuck stuck. So I, I think we just need to get past this. So I wonder if my metamorphosis once it's up. Oh, there we go. What do we got? What do we got going on here? Yeah, we got a wall. Oh, there we go. This is such a weird pathway that they put up. Like, why out of all the walls, they've done this, but like they didn't protect everything else. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't get Blizzard's decisions and blocking stuff off sometimes. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I thought maybe if we grew, it might work. Okay. I'm curious to see if the metamorphosis is going to work, though. We can just get past here. Ah, we're so close <laughs> to getting to South Shore and all that. Come on. Five seconds. All right, let's see if this is going to work. Moment of truth, my friends. I need to get closer. So it's out of range. It's too far away. So this is as far as we can get? Now we're stuck. Shoot. I need to get closer. I'm out of range. So it likes it here, but it doesn't like it anywhere else. Dang it, man. Okay. It's too far away. So it doesn't like it out here. We were doing so good. Well, that's what I'm trying to say is that I've never found another way in. If anybody knows another way in, let me know. I'm trying so hard. It's too far away. Problem is. Now I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. I'm in on some invisible wall here. Ah, it's so weird. Physics in this game are so weird with invisible objects. Man, I need to get we were so close, people. <laughs> I was freaking out for a minute. Well, that was cool. At least we got to explore the Ultra Valley uh, Battleground instance. So that was that was pretty cool portal. So, anyways, guys. Well, that's gonna be it for now. Um, sadly, maybe there's gonna be another way in. If I find it, I'll definitely make a video on it because I do want to see what's down there and see out the vanilla version of South Shore and all that. But, uh, anyways, guys. As always, my name is Nathan. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for almost 700 subscribers. Everyone is amazing. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.